wood just broke no motion sleeping on sofas creeping in highs like morning everybody it's dj nv angela yee charlamagne the guy we are the breakfast club let's get in some front page news where we starting you all right, well, let's start with talking about what's happening in Ukraine right now as Russia has invaded. Now, the Ukrainian presidency has said that more than 40 soldiers have been killed since the invasion began and a few dozen injured, and they said up to 10 civilians have been killed during this invasion so far. The European European Union Commission President Ursula von der Leyen promised to weaken Russia's economic base and its capacity to modernize following this barbaric attack by Moscow <laughs> against Ukraine. Now, Ukraine armed forces are saying a sixth Russian plane has been shot down. Uh, this follows an earlier claim that they shot down five aircraft and a helicopter as Russian forces have been attacking Ukraine. There's also long lines of cars leaving the Ukrainian capital as people are trying to head out of the city after the attack. So that is your update so far. A lot of people are wondering why now. And people do have mixed reasons of why Russia is now invading Ukraine. And, and by the way, in Ukraine, they have been saying that they've been anticipating this was going to happen at some point. Of course. And so they just didn't know when. And so some of the theories are that Russia is threatened by NATO's expansion and wanted to draw a line in the sand. Some people feel like Russia is unsettled by Ukrainian independence and democracy. Russia does fear Ukraine's status as, as a democracy, and they have developed an increasingly anti-Russian orientation in recent years. So they feel like that poses a threat. Uh, some people feel like Russia right now knows that they have an unusually strong hand at this moment because energy prices are rising around the world. The mm -hmm. surge is really uh, particularly big in Europe, where a lot of countries are dependent on Russian natural gas for things like heating their home. So they're saying that sanctions against Russia could cause an energy crisis in Europe on the scale of the 1970s oil crisis. So that's why there's been some hesitation from the Germans on joining threats to sanction Russia into oblivion if it entered Ukraine. And, and in the immediate future, it's going to hit it's going to hit America too. Gas prices are going to go up because the price of oil is going to go up. Price of food probably going to go up. Another hit to supply chains is definitely going to happen and since we already experienced record high inflation, this is going to add to it. All disruptions matter right now. So right now, the, uh, some people do feel like this is the perfect timing. Now, Australian Prime Minister Scott Morrison has said that Russia's invasion of Ukraine is brutal and unprovoked, and they have announced new sanctions on 25 more individuals and four financial institutions and denounced this. Um, European stocks fell sharply after Russia attacked Ukraine, and right now they're saying this is one of the darkest hours for Europe since World War II. Wow. So we will keep you updated. As I was watching the news this morning, <laughs> things were changing minute by minute. Mm -hmm. Like literally, if, if you're watching all the updates. Uh, now you can hear, as they're reporting on what's happening from Ukraine, you can hear sirens in the background. Uh, hey Don, no, it's not explosions. There's been an air raid siren just suddenly. Oh, here it is. Wow. How is that not terrifying? Imagine waking it up, make it up. That's what I'm saying. Uh, that's an, an air raid, an air raid siren. Mm. Several of them going off here in the center of the Ukrainian capital. Now, whether that's them just testing it, I don't think so, though, given the situation we currently find ourselves in. You, you can also hear bombs in the background mm -hmm. as this reporting is going on. I, I just wanted to play for you some of what they're hearing in Ukraine now, uh, a few hours before the sun comes up. And, you know, Putin warned that other countries who attempt to interfere with the Russian action, uh, it's going to lead to consequences they have never seen. That's 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 nuke talk. You know, I don't know if it'll get to that point. I, I, yeah, I pray it doesn't. Talk. But uh, yeah. it'll definitely be, I think, heavy cyber yeah. warfare. Like imagine so, imagine they take out the electrical grids here or take out the hospital computer systems or flight aviation or banking systems. Oh, if they knock out social media and Netflix, oh you know, people are riot in America. Yeah, I was just thinking, you Jesus. know, you, you hear that in other countries, you know, are, are, are we prepared for that? Are we no. prepared for what oh. could possibly happen? No, not even a little bit. You're too you know? worried about what's happening in pop All culture. Yeah, right. no, not even a little bit. Yeah. We're, really, we're really in the movie Don't Look Up. Well, Donald Trump was speaking at a political fundraiser and he did praise Vladimir Putin, the Russian president. He said, I mean, he's taking over a country for $2 worth of sanctions. I'd say that's pretty smart. He's taking over a country, literally a vast, vast location, a great piece of land with a lot of people and just walking right in. Yeah, so they were saying uh, it's like it's like uh, they gave they gave Putin an inch and he, he decided to take a mile. 
Yeah, right now on CNN it says full-fledged war has begun. Mm -hmm. That's what, the head, that's what the header says. Now, the Russian president, Vladimir Putin, ordered troops into, Ukraine's, uh, into Ukraine and has prompted the international community and Russia experts to speculate on what the next steps could be after this. And he did also give a speech that the United States was surprised when this happened because they didn't know that he was about to give a speech last night as well. And so according to that speech, uh, people are very alarmed about things that Putin had to say. And they said Putin's vision of history is clear, if viciously wrong. A great Russia once existed, of which Ukraine was but a part. And then the bad communists and their successor divided up that great Russia in an artificial way, creating divisions where none existed before. Implicit in this is that Ukrainians who say differently are deluded or manipulated by others. Now that natural vision has to be restored by a strong leader. So that is what he's trying to say in his speech. And they're saying that's revisionist and that is not what happened at all. So he's trying to convince people and he has his own sense of what happened when Ukraine separated from Russia. And during his speech, he also said that modern day Ukraine was in full and in whole created by Russia is what his version of events is. Well, it's going down. And Putin already said any country who interferes will get smoke like they've never seen. And Biden's about to give a speech this morning saying that they're going to hold R Russia accountable, America and its allies. And so you know that they're absolutely going to do that. So prepare for smoke. Let and me ask you a question. I never understood that. Why, why do we make a press conference and say what we're going to do and not just do it? I mean, that's like they me all saying, do that. Charlamagne, when I see you, I'm going to punch you in the face. Why don't, why don't I, I just punch I you in the face know. when I see you? I mean, they all why do I'm it. I'm tell you. It's not like Putin didn't do it. Like Putin, it's, not, it's not like he didn't do the same exact thing, you know? They're getting ahead of the narrative. Yeah, I mean, but listen, uh, just prepare for smoke, and it's not going to be bombs, at least I don't think. It's going to be psychological and cyber warfare. They, they're going to hit our banking systems. Mass they're going to hit our means to communicate, electrical grids, hospital computer systems, flight aviation. Like, I'm watching people in Ukraine. This morning, lined up at banks now, trying to get money out the bank. Stocks, Cyber bonds. attacks are hitting Ukrainian yep. banks and government websites right now. I'm looking at pictures of injured individuals. People have died already. 40 people. And um, civilians have died. Uh, hundreds of others have been injured. Yep. Now, in mm -hmm. Vladimir uh, Putin's speech that he made, he decided, he said, to conduct a special military operation to protect people who have been subjected to abuse and genocide by the Kiev re regime for eight years. And he did deny that Russia was planning to occupy Ukrainian territories. He said, we are not going to impose anything on anyone by force. That's not what it looks like when you see those tanks uh, going in. And Ukrainian President Zelensky responded several hours later with a minute-long speech saying that he had spoken to U.S. President Joe Biden and that the United States was rallying international support for Ukraine. And he said, the West is with us. All I know is America is absolutely in no position right now after COVID to deal with any of this, okay? Like, I mean, like imagine, you know, they take out our electrical grids. Imagine they, you know, uh, you go to your bank one, one morning and it, it denies you service. <laughs> like, it's going to cause That's, mass wow. hysteria and panic all over the country. You think folks is running up and running up and stuff and stealing now? Man, yeah. listen. All right, well, that is... Your front page news. And like I said, things are changing by the moment. So we will keep you updated on reports as we are uh, getting them.